Hey, it's the Wing Chun Kid, and I'm gonna show you how to defend yourself against someone stronger. All right, so very important, very common question is how to defend yourself against someone stronger, okay? So I'm 135 pounds, and you're... 240. 240 pounds, okay? So that's almost double, isn't it? Yeah. Almost double my weight. So how do you protect yourself against that? Um, well, we're gonna start in this range because a lot of fights start in talking, right? We're getting you know, angry at each other, these things start happening, shoves and stuff like that, right? Yeah. And then you do a punch, right? So what you need to do is cover and go inwards, okay? So the punch, cover, cover, okay? Notice that when I'm putting out my elbows, cover, cover, what happens a lot is it either goes over the arm or under the arm. And in most cases, it goes over, okay? When it goes over, you want to hook it and then grip it underneath your armpit, okay? At this point, you can start delivering knees. All right, just keep going until he can feel it. All right, so one more time, you're gonna start like this. A lot of times people punch, they're not going to tell you they're gonna punch. A lot of times they're gonna look away and punch, right? Right? A lot of times they're going to uh, just punch when they're talking to you, like this, right? They're just gonna punch when they're talking to you. So you don't have enough time to react and do some crazy um, techniques, right? All you have time to do is punch, is block, and move in. Okay, very important to block and move in. Because if you stay out here, block, 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 what? He's gonna keep punching me. Those punches are gonna be heavy. He's 240 pounds. I'm only 135, okay? I can probably only take a couple of those on my arm. All right, so when you're doing the block, 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 move in, and then clinch so that he can't hit you anymore. And what's also important is that hands deliver weapons. He can't grab his weapons anymore, all right? So you got his arms here, okay? You can knee him like this, with this knee, or on the side of the thigh here. It's not comfortable, right? No. <laughs> okay, so here in the balls, side of the thigh, okay? All right, keep doing that until he backs off. All right, so that's one way of defending yourself against someone stronger. All right, another way to defend yourself against someone stronger. Someone stronger and bigger and especially if you have some distance and you have time to react, is to use kicks to keep him in a distance, okay? So he's coming in for a punch. I just kick him in the knee here because if he try to reach me, he can't reach me, but I can reach him with my foot, okay? So you just side kick like this, okay? So, or you punch, you can even do the stomp kick this way, right? Or you can do a stomp kick this way. As long as you got contact with the front knee, okay? He can't reach you. Also keep your hands up so that you can protect yourself. So if you miss, at least you got some protection, right? So you want to do kicks and keep your hands up. Okay, this way. This way. Keep him at a distance. Okay, he's angry, he's strong, he's aggressive, right? So he's going to be punching. Boom, you kick him in the knee. Boom, now he doesn't want to punch you as much, right? You say, oh, this guy's kicking me. You can kick him in the nuts. Okay, kick him in the nuts. Now he starts backing off. Now, now you're in a better mental position in the fight, right? So now you can come in and start to deliver your attacks, all right? So you gotta change the mindset and hurt him and make sure that he can't get close. And once he knows that you're actually meaning business, you're small, but you can fight, right? And you defend yourself. It changes the mentality of the situation. and gives you an advantage. All right. all right, so it's important in martial arts to be able to defend yourself against someone bigger and stronger and more aggressive even than you, all right? so. I've got my friend here, Hedekid and Singh from the East, helping me out, thanks a lot. He's 10, 240 pounds and I'm only 135 pounds. So how can you deal with somebody almost twice your weight? So you need to be able to um, block and control the arms, like I showed you, or keep them at a distance, all right? But you need to know, learn both because a lot of times fights start at a talking range and not from far away. So you can't really use kicks a lot of times, okay? So practice that and make sure you get that perfect. If you like this video, like this lesson, make sure you subscribe to this channel and get the latest self-defense and fighting tips and check out some of my other lessons here on this channel too. All right, so it's Wing Chun Kid signing off. We'll see you soon.